This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Galactica, a large language model for science. Uh, this is a work which was released yesterday. Uh, this model has been open sourced as well. The weights are available. Uh, so this is by paperswithcode.com from MetaAI. So what is Galactica? Okay. So currently information overload is a major obstacle, right? You have explosive growth of scientific literature and data. So to discover useful insights in a large mass of information, it is tough, right? So uh, the search engines are there, but they are not able to organize scientific knowledge alone. So they have introduced Galactica, a large language model that can store, combine and reason about scientific knowledge. This has been trained on large scientific corpus of papers, reference materials, knowledge bases and many other sources. And they say that this model actually outperforms say GPT-3 or any of the other large language models by a huge margin, right? So what was this model trained on? Okay, so let's go to that. So what they are saying is that it was being trained on a large and curated corpus of humanity's scientific knowledge includes over 48 million papers, textbooks and lecture notes, millions of compounds and proteins, scientific websites, encyclopedias and more. So current language models, large language models, it rely on uncurated crawl based paradigm whereas this is corpus is high quality and highly curated. We are able to train it on multiple epochs without overfitting where upstream and downstream performance improves with the use of repeated tokens. Okay, so this is a huge data set on which it has been trained, right? There are some details over, over here. Let's uh, just have a quick look at it. Okay, this is the total data set size, 106 billion tokens. And here are your, uh, you know, data source, say papers, 48 million papers, code 2 million, reference material 8 million. This is really huge size, right, on which it has been trained. And this is more curated data when compared to other large language models. Okay, so they also have a demo site where you can try out uh, things to see what is generated from this model. For example, here it says generated document for query. So you, this is the query you put uh, try colon and I just put BERT. Okay, uh, my mind was saying it is large language model, but yeah, I just put BERT. So then it gives that BERT is actually a comedy film and there is some plot of it, some details it gives about this and it was released by Netflix. Okay, right. But when I put wiki article on BERT language model, okay, then it gives this nice uh, kind of uh, article, a small summary of the article uh, like this, uh, BERT is a language representation model and it is released and what is the advantage of this language uh, model, it gives over here, okay. It says outputs may be unreliable, language models are prone to hallucinated text, see this is, uh, yeah, the warning regarding this text which has been generated, okay. Let's see what happens when we say generate more over here. It takes some time. By the time we'll go into some other uh, demo. Okay. So here I said try literature review on large language models. So then it says abstract paper results table of contents introduction. Okay. So here it says abstract. The article describes a literature review of the field of large language models. It covers the most influential papers in the field and most interesting open problems. A reference paper is given over here, uh, you know, some results are given over here, a table of contents, introduction, right? Maybe I'll say generate more and see what happens over here. Let's see if this is done. Yeah, it is done. So here you see it gives more details like why BERT, uh, BERT for images, okay. So yeah, some more details. Let's see what it generates. It is still generating. We can also explore more capabilities like this. For example, if you give an input like this, right, a deep learning paper that introduced discriminative fine tuning. So it kind of gives which paper it is. So it was this particular paper. Okay. For example, a paper that introduced neural network architecture for recognizing digits. If this is your query, it gives this as results. Okay. So you can find out papers using this particular, uh, you know, Galactica language model. It helps the uh, uh, Galactica to suggest citations and help uh, discover related papers because it has been trained on a large corpus comprising more than 360 millions in context citations and over 50 millions of unique references. So for example, a deep learning paper, yeah, that is this thing which we saw again, an NLP paper that compares different ways of encoding positions, okay, 
and what is this uh, this is the paper that represented a new computing block given by the formula this is the thing it doesn't give the result over here but when i click this view full prompt it actually says this as a reference this paper right uh, which is attention is all you need paper so you can get that okay you can also do some things like uh, you know translate the following math formula into plain english and this is the answer which comes out of it the riemann zeta function okay or something like this translate the following math formula into plain english so it says function f is a matrix multiplication of the matrix v with softmax of the product of matrices q and k divided by the square root of the dimension k okay so yeah so this is quite accurate and then you have translate the following math formula into simple plain english and it says where b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 are constants and lambda is the wavelength of light the refractive index of a material is given by this formula so this is quite nice um, there are some more capabilities also of this model which is described in the paper uh, let's go to that but before that let's see if something else has come over here yeah some more things on the introduction has come over here regarding the foundation models uh, which has been generated uh, from the initial uh, this thing okay anything over here uh, a little bit on why oh, no it is the same i have not given generate more over here or maybe i gave it but not much has been generated okay what else can this model do uh, so you will be surprised that this model can do a lot more things okay uh, so let me go to that this thing and then come back to some of this architecture and other things because uh, the results look exciting yeah so it can actually do latex equations for example if the prompt is the formula for bessel's differential equation is it generates this answer quite cool okay uh, this is latex uh, latex equations probe so you probe for the name of an equation uh, and uh, we prompt with the name of an equation and it gives you the possibility of multiple correct answers basically the latex generated latex is correct okay then you have these uh, domain probes like amino probes a data set of names and structures and properties of 20 common amino acids so something like this so here uh, you also have something called chemical reaction uh, probes so for example sulfuric acid reacts with sodium and chloride and gives okay and then it gives the generated answer as this okay we prompt based on description and reactants and evaluated with the generated products are correct okay so this is the evaluation of that uh, this is the evaluation on the domain probes and these are the kind of the results are uh, which comes with uh, zero shot and these are the domain probes amino probe which is a data set of name structure and properties of 20 common amino acids bio llama a data set of biomedical factual knowledge triples chemical reactions a data set of chemical reactions galaxy clusters a data set of galaxy clusters with their constellation mineral groups a data set of minerals and their mineral group uh, classifications so here is an example of that chemical reactions okay this is cool uh, then we have uh, reasoning which is basically mathematical reasoning okay uh, where they say that this performs better than palm or gpt3 okay then they also have scientific nlp question answering basically on different data sets they have tested it over here and they say the results are much better than other language models uh, other ma language models are say evaluated phi short except for gpt3 on some uh, this thing on opt and opt and bloom on pubmed qa and uh, biosq so here they say that it performs better for the exact numbers you can refer to the paper okay uh, this is about the citations uh, so here also they say that uh, the citation prediction accuracy they have given some results on that okay uh, so here there is something called an uh, example prompt predicting a citation in context so this is the prompt so there they include some tokens called start reference and uh, end reference for that particular thing and then the prediction in the prediction it predicts which is the citation for this particular piece of text okay right uh, they have explained a little bit more on the, this thing okay the next uh, coolest thing which i uh, saw over here is this convert the smiles to iupac name so this is for the chemicals this thing over here so given a formula like this not exactly a formula but this is a smile there is an expansion for what smile stands for somewhere over here there is a smiles formula smiles is a line notation which represents chemical structure as a sequence of characters okay so given that you have to predict the iupac names of it okay iupac stands for 
uh, something it should be there uh, it's a naming format for chemicals so yeah so given this uh, chemical notation it converts into a formula okay and this is the atomic attention uh, of the model where it is uh, shown attention for this prediction uh, this token prediction so here you have these things okay given this uh, you know formulas it predicts what is the this thing okay so this is the attention to functional groups galactica uses its knowledge of chemistry to help with this naming task this is cool then you also have some molecule uh, this thing say for example uh, this is a smiles formula and then there is a question will the chemical compound penetrate the blood brain barrier the answer is no so this is basically some kind of drug design kind of things where you can have a chemical formula and then you can ask like uh, will the chemical compound be active against this protein right so here is a protein and here is a chemical formula and then you can say that whether this chemical compound will be active against this protein okay and the answer is generated so this is uh, basically for uh, toxicity and other things right um, so this is also cool about uh, molecules and this thing right what else is there let's see uh, something so this is like uh, okay here is a sequence and it has to predict some keywords related to this sequence okay so protein keyword prediction so there is a protein sequence which is given and then what are the keywords related to this protein so that is what is this thing here is a protein function description is also there okay so this is a, a predicted description of a particular protein the function of that protein okay so given a protein sequence it tries to predict the function of it that is also cool okay so these were some of the uh, you know the various other uh, things which you can perform with this particular model other than what we have seen over here in terms of literature survey or say you know uh, things like wiki article right or say generate lecture notes generate asked question answering right other than that it can also do many of these tasks quickly look into uh, not going too much into details but let's look into some kind of uh, what is their tokenization over here so this is the tokenization which they have given over here so if it is latex it is tokenized like this uh, this is the formula so here you have multi-model uh, different kind of text okay text sequences which represent scientific uh, phenomena it could be a dna sequence it could be that smiles uh, whatever that your chemical uh, notation right it could be code it could be latex dna sequence amino acid sequence okay so different kind of tokens are there right that is what they call as multimodal data because in one paper also you can have these different kind of tokens okay so for tokenization uh, for citations they have a special reference token start ref and end ref for step by step reasoning they wrap with a working memory token called work which mimics an internal working memory context for mathematics, uh, they split ASCII operations into individual uh, characters. Parentheses are treated like digits. The rest of the operations uh, follow allow for unsplit repetitions. Operation characters are this thing. This is for mathematical formulas. For numbers, they split it into individual tokens. For smiles formula, they wrap it with start smiles, end smiles. Okay. They can also have uh, something called isometric smiles where they have i over here start underscore underscore uh, i underscore smiles for amino acid sequences they wrap with start amino end amino and also apply some character based tokenization uh, treating each amino character as a single token this is the thing for dna sequence start dna end dna so this is the tokenization process they also explained a little bit detailed upon this uh, you know this working memory token or work for reasoning tasks over here what they say is that if there is a question like this uh, then the prompt uh, they, they tokenize it like this so there is work what happens over here is that uh, example answer with the work working memory token it perf uh, performs exact steps for rearranging the equation and when it reaches a calculation that it cannot uh, solve reliably in a forward pass it writes a computer program which can be offloaded to a classical computer to solve the equation okay so this is this thing right then for citation token as i told before uh, if this is a piece of text they add start reference end reference okay so that means that some uh, paper was referred over here in this particular piece of text 
So that is how they pre-processed for the citations. So one thing which uh, is new over here is that they deviate from existing language model in one important direction. They are including prompts in pre-training. Okay, generally in prompt based models, it is after pre-training in fine tuning, you introduce prompts. Okay, but here they are including prompts in pre-training also. And they have given some details over here on why it helps to improve performance. I'm not going too much into that because it would require another reading for me to fully understand this. But uh, that is what they have done over here. Okay. And uh, the kind of architecture they have used is the transformer architecture uh, with decoder only step as in the original paper and with some modifications like they have uh, GALU activations for all models, some context window of 2048 length context, no biases, uh, learned positional em embedding. Okay. So they use learned positional embeddings for the model. Uh, some details they have given over here and vocabulary is a 50 tokens using uh, byte uh, pair encoding. Okay. The vocabulary was generated from a randomly selected 2% subset of the training data. So this is there, this thing. So these are the different models. So the model which has been released with weights is this 120 billion parameter uh, model. Okay. And they have trained it with different uh, say uh, optimizers and that's what is explained over here. So for training this largest model, they required 128 NVIDIA A100 80 GB nodes. For inference, it requires only a single A100 node. Okay. So this is about training and uh, further details are uh, explained about the performance and other things. You can have a look at it. So this was a short look at this particular work. This is quite an interesting work. Uh, and uh, let's see how it is useful for various tasks and probably with more and more fine tuning of this as and when they release newer versions of this model, it will get better at uh, some of these tasks. So this is quite an exciting work. You can look at this particular website. You can try out for yourself to see what kind of things are getting generated. I will put a link of this website along with the paper in the description of the video. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy.